everybody and today we are reading another book called A Day with Um Emily Emery Ward. Okay, that that was kinda silly. Written by Ben Smith, the last day by Jennifer Cooper. You know, I really hated writing stories at school. Last week I hated our teacher too. We, we were, we all had to write a story. The teacher said he was going to send our stories to a friend of his who was an author. She'd really read them and choose the best story. Wait, hold up. We have the author who wrote um the perfect puppy and anyway she's trying to work as a teacher at our school isn't she okay carry on mama we had to work on our stories all week i wrote about a keeper at the zoo he muddled up all the animals so when the people came to his zoo they didn't know which animal was which a monkey Mana him please slow down he muddled up an elephant and a giraffe and a monkey Mm -hmm. and he ended up with a little elephant with a long neck swinging in the trees is that the is that that's a hybrid <laughs> because he's writing a story he can made up let's see what's happening I'll next read them out, will you? i knew my teacher didn't like my story because he kept on at me to change some of the words the new words were hard to spell so i had to use my dictionary a lot I did what he said so he would leave me alone. On Friday, he sent our stories to his friend. He told us there would be a prize for the best story. The prize was to spend a whole Saturday with the author. With the author. You know, I think that may be... The author. Okay, reading, darling. Oh, so that's the author. Yuck! Surprise! A whole day with an author. Her name was Emily Emery Board. Oh, right there. Mm -hmm. So that's how she would look like. I thought that she would look like that. Keep reading, please. I just knew she would be a wrinkled old prune who talked about nothing but writing stories not that i need to worry i knew she would hate reading my story as much as i hated writing it how wrong can you be i won the prize all week i thought up clever plans to get out of the day even I told my teacher I was sick with some very bad... What is that? D. Disease. It's a disease. Disease that killed authors. <laughs> That's funny. That's silly. I moaned to my parents and begged them to say I couldn't go. In the end, my dad said, just go. It's only one day out of your life. You never know. You might even enjoy yourself. Just go, it's only... Just go, carry on please. Ah, like I heard a rhyme in there, I think. Please carry on, Manahim. Um, my mother told me to stop fuzzing. She said she was very proud of me. Did you see the mom and dad? They're giving you more evidence. Is it evidence? I don't know. Mm-hmm. So on Saturday morning, I got ready for the worst day of my life with 
Emily Emery Bourne. Wow, she looks very good. Very pretty. I was wrong. Even though I hate to say it, Emily Emery Bourne came and picked me up at 10 o'clock. You know, she actually looks like Toy Story's Bo Peep. <laughs> but what? Maybe that could be her sheep. Okay. She wasn't told all and wrinkled like a prune. In fact, she looked like a cross between a peach and a strawberry. She came in a thing that looked like a bathtub on wheels. Wait, what? Duck one. <laughs> Come on, get in, she said. Did you see she got a shower as well? Bruh, are those really the seats? What is this vehicle? It's so annoying to sit in it, mate. Like, as you dress up, your clothes will turn wet. <laughs> like, OMG. I got in and gave me... She? And she gave me a helmet to put on. Then she told me to do up the seatbelt. Right, she said. As we speed off, we're going to the muddled up games. What are the muddled up games? I asked. Wait and see, she replied. The muddled up games were neat fun. Oh. There was a basketball you played with a... This is weird. Tennis ball? With a tennis ball and a hockey stick. Wait, what? So it's like... Remember you were talking about hybrid? So mixing it up. Like the boy wrote the book, mixing up all this the characters. Silly. Similar like that. Can you keep reading, darling? And a hockey stick. <laughs> then there was a soccer you played with tennis racket tied to your shoe. That is uh, funny. What look. the? What the? That's kind of silly. Wow. Wait, wait, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. that's way too funny. There was even some skateboard with snowshoes. You can try any game you liked. Emily and Reboard and I tried everything and soon it was time to go home. Hey, where's Emily? This one. Oh, then where's that little kid? Oh, yeah. No, right oh, there. Oh, this one? Oh. Let's see what happened next. Right. She said, before we speed, sped off in her bathtub, why don't you like writing stories? I can't spell a lot of words, she said, I said. And the teacher makes us edit our work and that's boring. I hate it. But you have lots of good ideas, she replied. You have to have good ideas you must be an author like to be an author you yeah man I please use the pencil as a marker you have to have good ideas to be an author and also to be an author you also need Manahil, please keep very the good book. um what's it called interest in what you're writing as well You n you need to edit your stories so your idea is the best it can be. And your stories have to put the spelling right so the other people can read what you've written. I suppose so, I said. Most times I just spell the words that... I just change the words. I just change the words. To the ones that I can spell. Never ever do that again. You hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Emily and Emily Board said to me. Using this easy word spoils your idea and makes your story boring. Good ideas need good words. Wait. I think I just see in her Can hands. You keep reading, Manahil. We talked about it all the way home. 
She made me laugh when she told me about some of her best stories and the great words she liked to use. And guess what? I love writing stories now. And I never ever use this, the words I can spell. That's way too boring. I hope you like this book everybody. And let's hear what does he say. Take me home, read me. So, um, I hope you like the book. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment. Bye.